I just got done cleaning their cage, right? Little nacho. Not that I talk about boars. Because um I see like a lot of people usually when especially if they're talking about a male dominant boar. Usually some sort of negative um not everybody, but but I do see it a lot. How oh boars are nothing but trouble. I'm glad I got females. Boars are gross. Um, and some people are dissuaded by the whole boar cleaning thing, which it really does get easier after you do it the first time, and it, it becomes no big deal at all. Easier than trimming nails. But no, I, d I generally do see a lot of sort of negative connotations towards, especially if it's a male dominant boar. I have a feeling little Nacho here is going to be a male dominant boar because Beavis is such a tame Buddha boy. Mm, he's already displaying some. But you know what? Butthead. My late guinea pig Butthead was a male dominant boar. And the bond that him and Beavis had was amazing. There'll never be another bond like that. He might have been male dominant, but um, him and Beavis would sleep together in the same hidey hole side by side. Which at the time, since I'm still fairly new to guinea pigs, I mean I've had him for a little over a year. But um, Butthead and Beavis would sleep in the same hidey hole together, which... I I didn't know that that was rare for two boars to sleep in the same hidey hole together. I only learned that afterwards, after Butthead's passing on August the 31st, you know. So I had him a little over a year. These guys going on, um, what? Well, Nacho's just a baby here. I got him five days later after Butthead's passing, but, you know, Butthead was a, a, such a sweet, licky pig. Nacho's still a baby, so we'll have to see how his traits build out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, you're a precious boy. But yeah, boars can make great pets, and don't let boar cleaning dissuade you from owning one, because it's really... I was nervous to do it at first, but then I realized it's really no big deal at all. Once I got to doing it, it become easy. And I love my boars. And they make just as great pets as, you know, everybody acts like only female pigs and a neutered boar. I won't risk neutering them. There's just too much risk. They live together just fine. If they don't, I'll build a cage to separate them, but so many boys don't get adopted, do they, Nacho? Hmm? You're one of the lucky ones. Lots of boys don't get adopted. And I hate to think of what happens to all the ones that nobody wants. Sure, fem female guinea pigs are great, but I don't think people should, um, I always hear them say, oh, a male dominant boar, you know. That doesn't mean, Butthead was protective of Beavis. Now, in most cases, guinea pigs are not protective of each other. Like Saskia said, and, you know, 99.99% .99 of the time, she would be right, for sure. I love her videos and that and her advice. But, since every guinea pig has its own unique personality, sometimes there's an exception to the rule. And, I have other beef videos where I've explained that. I also have lots of videos of Beavis and Butthead playing. Now, so far, but since Butthead's passing, the di the relationship isn't the same between Beavis and Nacho. I mean, sure, they get along, but it's, they don't sleep in the same hidey together and not as much playfulness, you know? It's just not the same, but hopefully that'll change. Nacho gets bigger, we'll soon learn. Mm -hmm. Anyway... Beavis feels so big after holding little Nacho. <laughs> Makes you feel like a big pig. Hmm? <laughs> now, Beavis is a very super tame pig. Even if he's not Buddha, I tend to think he is because he won't hump nothing. No butt sniffing, no lets another pig hump him, doesn't do nothing. He gets along with any pig. But people act like Buddha boys would be the only ones worth owning, some, some people. And while I love Beavis to death, you know, like I said, the bond that he had with his late brother Butthead was an, an amazing bond. They played, they slept together in the same hidey and everything. Butthead was protective of you, especially the time you got scared and weak. When I was doing the five-day taming challenge where Saskia says, hold on to them and don't let them go right away so they get used to you. When I first did that with him, that was probably the only time he ever weeped. He squeaked, weep, weep, weep. His butthead came out of there chattering his teeth at me. 
Not at the other pig, because he ran to the other side of the cage and was in the hidey hole. And Butthead would not stop chattering his teeth until I got away from the cage. He never bit me or nothing, but that was his way of letting me know he wasn't happy with what I was doing with his brother. So it was a special bond. I'm hoping Beavis will play with this new pig more. And, you know, I mean, they don't fight. They get along. Beavis does his own thing. Nacho does his own thing. It would be nice if at some point they start play interacting, but at least, you know, they get along and that's what's important. And I gave Nacho a good home that he otherwise might not have had because people seem to have an issue with red eyes, too. Something else I don't get. I think the red eyes look cute. Now, Beavis, I know you don't have red eyes, but you're just an adorable pig anyways. I mean, look at you. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so don't let anybody dissuade you from getting male guinea pigs, you know, talking about how they're nothing but trouble or this or that. Because, you know, I, I love these boys to death, and they're sweet, and they make just as good a pets as guinea pigs. And like I said, so many males don't get adopted. And when people don't want them, you know, they probably wind up, who knows, snake food or turn loose in the wild or whatever can hunt them. Uh-oh. Not just freaking out because Beavis is not in there. Let me see if I can try to... Ah. Little Nacho, it's okay. I don't know where he went, but... Yeah. He's missing Beavis, so we're going to put you in the cage. I just cleaned out their cage. So. Alright. 